Hello, so when browsing LinkedIn, it will tend to show you notifications not only inside your application, but also inside the browser tab title. So here you see I have 17 incoming notifications and I have some kind of additional symbol next to our favicon. And let's replicate the same kind of behavior inside our own application. So here you see I created a new Rails app and we're going to have a list of notifications. When I create a new notification, it is not seen by default. It is seen false. And you see I have uh, one new notification. The um, red icon has been added above our thumbnail. And also I've added an additional blinking effect. And you see the same kind of effect has been added to the other browser tab. So one new alert. I will add a new notification and now I have two alerts and both browser tabs are being updated. When I click show the notification, you see now I have just one new alert. If I see all the notifications, then I don't have any alerts. So let's add this kind of effect to our application. I'll go to the main branch and start the server. And here I've just got a very basic Ruby on Rails application where I just have a scaffold of notifications that is uh, that has only one attribute, seen, and in our roots, again, I have just the notifications. So just a very basic Rails application, and uh, I didn't add uh, any users, because uh, well, you can then easily replicate this kind of behavior per user. So I have notifications, and I want to have different logos, whether notification is seen or not. Let's start with logos. So first we're going to add some kind of logos. And here you see I've already prepared two logos, one with notifications and one without notifications. Because again, here LinkedIn doesn't add some kind of uh, CSS property or something to the logo, it just changes the image. So we will need both images inside our application. I'm going to go to App Images, inside Assets, and I'm going to copy both uh, images. And now I will go to applicationhtml.erb and here I'm going to add a favicon link tag. So I will say equals favicon link tag. I'll also say asset above to be more clear and say linkedin.png. And let's see if we have our favicon updated. Okay, I must have made a typo. Linkedin, like this. Or not. Okay, let me just uh, copy. Okay, so uh, here I have this new title. If I make it uh, not LinkedIn, but LinkedIn uh, Bell, then I have this other title. Okay, so let's uh, conditionally have these two different uh, titles. So if we have any unseen notifications, we are going to have the bell icon. If we have seen all the notifications, we are going to have the normal LinkedIn icon. So let's uh, add something. New notifications. Count equals notification dot where seen equals either false or nil dot count. So let's see the new notifications count at the moment. It is zero. Let's create a new notification and it is one. Okay. So if we have uh, new notifications, then we're going to have the bell. Let's say if new notifications count uh, is more than zero, or maybe we can also say positive, then we're going to have the bell. Otherwise, we're going to have the normal LinkedIn logo. So let's add an else statement and uh, an end statement right here. Okay, let's see. So uh, I will create destroy this notification and there are no unseen notifications. Let's create a new notification. Okay, the logo has been updated. I will destroy it. And now we don't have any new notifications. So the logo has uh, been set to normal. Okay, so now we have conditional favicons. Let's also add a conditional notifications count. I will just add a notifications count inside the title and have two different titles. So um, if there are no notifications, we'll just have the normal title. Otherwise, we'll have the title where we will also put the notifications count equals new notifications count. Let's see. I will create a new notification. Okay, it is uh, one. Let me create another notification. 
we have two notifications. I'll destroy it and now it is well. Okay, so now it already kind of works uh, and uh, it's really kind of simple. But uh, we can make it even more fancy. So two things we can do, we can make it uh, blink. So we'll have like the application title and we'll have the notifications count and also we'll make it so that it updates in other browser tabs without having to make a page refresh. So let's first add the, the blinking effect using stimulus.js. Uh, how can we do it? Let's create a stimulus controller. Let's say Rails generate stimulus title blink. So let's go to this title blink controller and we have this connect. Let's uh, first see the page title. Let's say console.log uh, document dot title. And let's initialize this uh, controller actually only in the case where we uh, will have this uh, bell icon. So if we don't have, oh, if we do have notifications. So let's start the server. And now if we do have new notifications, we have this uh, page title. But uh, we don't want to have this uh, number of alerts in the page title. We will uh, be blinking from the page title to like one alert or five alerts. So um, we are going to move this uh, out of the page title. Let's again, here we have the normal page title. And the second thing that we are going to console log is this notifications uh, text. So we'll move the notifications text into stimulus. We'll say data title blink uh, new title value equals the new notifications count. Something like this. And let's try to get this uh, new title inside our stimulus controller. So you see, I've created a value. I will have to add the value inside our controller. I will say static values and we'll have new title equals stream. And let's get the uh, new title. We'll say this dot new title value. So we have the new title and the old title. And let's just add uh, something like alerts. So, okay, here we have two different titles that we want to blink. So we're going to have either the normal page title or the dynamic text that is going to be blinkable. So uh, looks good. Let's just uh, say that we will have a variable new title equals this dot new title value and variable old title equals document dot title. Okay, and now we are going to say that uh, conditionally we are going to have uh, to update the document title uh, to the old title or to the new title. So we'll say variable blink and we'll say it will be a function and we are going to update the document title document of the title equals. So we're going to check the document title that we have now. And we will see if it is the new title, then we're going to make it the old title. Otherwise, we're going to make it the new title. So again, what are we doing here? We're going to check the document title and we're going to set the document title to the new title if it is old. And if it is old, we're going to set it to the new one. And we're going to do this uh, function in an interval every 1000 milliseconds. So every second, we'll say this dot uh, uh, blink interval equals set interval. We're going to run this function blink every 1000 milliseconds. Let's see if it works. So I'll refresh this page. And you see it is blinking. So looks nice. And what if I uh, go to show, go to destroy the notification. You see it keeps blinking. And something is uh, actually fishy because the blink interval has also kind of changed. It is because uh, we would need to make a full page refresh, not just a fetch that we do when we do redirects uh, to stop the stimulus controller from acting. So we would also need to add a disconnect function. We will say disconnect 
and we'll have to disconnect this blink uh, function. So I will say clear interval and we have this dot blink interval. Okay, let's see if it works. Now I'm going to create a new notification and it is blinking. I destroy and it is not blinking anymore. So you see, in some cases, uh, uh, this is actually a great example of when we would need to have a disconnect function on a stimulus controller. Okay, so now we have this kind of blinking effect. Uh, looks uh, quite nice. Let's uh, do the same in another browser tab. I'll go to slash notifications. I'll uh, add another notification and you see we have blinking in both browser tabs. But you see the notifications count doesn't get updated. So I will go to, let's say, add a new notification. Here we have three notifications, here we have one notification. So we want the notifications count to be synchronous between browser tabs. To do this, we can use uh, tube stream broadcasts. So um, I'm going to add uh, basically a listener fu function and give it a kind of a name. I will say equals turbo stream from global notifications. I will uh, refresh the page and here in the console I will see that we are listening uh, from global notifications. Okay, uh, I'll have the same in the other tab and let's uh, try updating something. So uh, we can do it by running something like uh, uh, turbo stream channel uh, dot broadcast let's say replace two then we'll need some kind of uh, yeah we, then we will set uh, this listener so we want uh, all the pages that have this listener available to get uh, this uh, broadcast action then we're going to get a target so some kind of element with an ID. So we will say target will be, let's say, uh, we're going to add a target here. So ID equals uh, uh, title notifications. So the target is going to be title notifications and we'll try saying HTML equals five. Let's try running this thing in the console. I will also refresh the pages once again because I have added the an ID to the title. So I will, oh no, I should actually stop the server. I'll do it in another server tab. So I'll start the Rails console and run to the stream channel broadcast. Uninitialized Turbo Stream uh, channel. Yeah, I think it should be not stream channel, but streams channel. S in the end. Okay, let's try once again. And you see, uh, something has been updated. Obviously, it's not very nice because we didn't do the correct thing in the uh, like thing that we are updating, but something has been updated in both tabs. So let's uh, go to our notifications controller. And whenever we click notification save, we are going to broadcast a new title. And uh, for this, we are going to move this uh, title into a partial. So uh, let's go to our views, app uh, views. I will create a shared view uh, and I will say page title it will be the name page title.html.erb. And we are going to say that we are broadcasting, not HTML, but partial. The partial is going to be shared slash page title. And inside this page title, we are going to have uh, the new title. So I'm putting the title here. And we have this new notifications count, so we'll need to pass in the new notifications count in the controller. So I will say locales will be new notifications count equals notification where unseen. Okay, here we have the locales for the partial. 
uh, yeah, it should be like this. Okay, no more errors. And now whenever we create a new notification, all the pages that have access to this global notifications uh, listener are going to find the target title notifications. Uh, where is this target? It is here, title notifications. We can actually also add this title to the normal thing. And uh, uh, we're going to change it with the partial shared page title. And we're going to update based on the count of uh, notifications. So let's see if this works. I will refresh both pages. I will create a new notification. Here I have four alerts and here I also have four alerts. So it kind of works. I will create uh, a new notification yet again. We have five alerts and we have five alerts. So uh, this way we use the tube stream broadcasts to update the notifications count based uh, on uh, uh, yeah, based on like creating the new notifications. And it updates in all our tabs and we've got this blinking effect. So works pretty nice and uh, yeah, actually it seems to be a really annoying feature but if you really want to force users back uh, into your application tab to do something then it might be useful for you. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. I myself uh, did because uh, we had like three elements. The first one was just doing it with some HTML uh, and like conditions. Second, we've added the stimulus controller and third, we did turbo stream broadcast. So I think it went nice. Have a nice time. Bye.